All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. It is Nick, and it is time to open up another Game Changer bundle. We're going to open up one of these and then one of the Get a Gold. Because, why not? Josh Woodrum. This is how I'm going to start all my pack openings, is opening these. And then if we pull something ever, that's just the episode, because you know the packs would then suck. But, all right, Game Changer bundle. We're going to mix it up this time. We're not going to open up the Elite Fantasy pack first. No, we did get that Johnny Hecker last time. Alright, so we got Jermaine and Fetty, Sua Cravens, Ryan Anderson, no elites, Darren Smith, Lack Edwards, Trent Brown. What a first pack here, dude. What, what, uh, what a first pack of no elites. That was a terrible, should have never changed it up. All right, this is uh, this is really tragic. This is really a tragic start to this. Okay, we'll just get all the bad packs out of the way first. We'll get all the terrible packs out of the way first, and and we'll get hot in this pack. I mean, two elites. It's better than the first two packs combined. We got some core rookies. Whoo! These first three packs. Hit. We're we're just we're still heating up. We're still heating up. This is this is. This is not the pack. It'll be the pack after this one. Artie Burns. Yeah, it's going to be the pack after this one. All right, Julian Edelman. But yeah, we're still we're still heating up. It's going to be the pack after this. This this is the one right here. This is the pack. Taran Armstead. Okay, maybe I was wrong. It's 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 after we back out here, and then we open up an elite fantasy pack. That's when it's gonna get hot, or we'll just get the hottest of hot elite fantasy packs. All right, Jordan Howard, Zach Ertz, and in the middle. All right, Josh sitting nice. That's probably worth a nice amount. Those high those high tier elite linemen. Uh, just have been killing value lately. Chris Moore. Alright, Demarcus Lawrence. Oh, power up. Reggie White, power up. Anthony Sherman. I mean, that's a better pack than we've been getting. Still not a good pack. Oh, here we go, legend. Boom. Alright, 85 Vic. I'll take it. Uh, another two, a double legend pack, 85 Champ Bailey. Oh, oh, 86 Delaney Walker. Okay, okay, I can, I can deal with that. That's a, that's a nice pack. Chris Conti. No, 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 not, not only golds. Okay, there we go. Evan Ingram, another elite. Yannick Ngakwe. How many more? Is this our... We got two more game changers. I can't say this. This has gone pretty bad because we don't have a Johnny Hecker to fall back. If we'd had a Johnny Hecker or something that was worth a chunk of coins, I would say that it's not that big of a deal. But uh, when you're pulling Artie Burns twice in a bundle as you're only elite in a pack, you know it's just going terribly. Okay, we go till we get an elite, and then we go the other direction. All right, Dak. Alright, we're only getting Dak in this pack. Okay, so we're down to the Elite Fantasy pack. This could go really terribly. Okay, well we're starting it off terribly. And we're continuing terrible, so it's gotta be it's gotta be the middle here. Alright, Demario Davis. Not good, but better than better than current options there. A lot better than a lot better than the options we, we had before we pulled him. Okay, so I can't say this this went exceedingly well. I need to sell all my gold, so exactly I have 795 gold. So I, I gotta I gotta sell them soon. All right, so what what is the price on Demario? 26. Okay. Um, Delaney Walker. I already have one on my team, but all right, 40 40k. We pulled much better elites in this one. 
Um, Vic, 30. Champ, I'm going to guess, is in the high 20s, low 30s. Yeah. 30 again. Um, Sitting? Sitting's 58. Who do I have on my team? I might just keep sitting and sell Hutchinson. Yeah, depending, I bet that Hutchinson's like 30k. It'd be like a 30k upgrade. Oh yeah, we pulled Jarvis Landry. I bet he's in the 50s. Oh, he's 60s. Alright, so not, not a terrible bundle. I think the first one was still better. I think we pulled more elites out of this bundle, maybe. I don't know where it cut off from last bundle. So I know 10... 15... 9, 20? 20? 21? 20, 21 or 22, I think. Somehow, somehow this bundle got there. I don't really know how it got there, but it, it got there. No, it didn't get there. Let's see. I'm trying to figure this out. 5, 5, 10. Alright. No, those don't count. So, 8, 13, 18. That doesn't make any sense either. We pulled 20, but we pulled, we pulled Jarvis Landry in this bundle, didn't we? Maybe we didn't pull Jarvis Landry. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. It doesn't matter. It doesn't truly matter. <laughs> uh, the bundle was alright. I don't know about the Game Changer bundles. They're so they're so boomer bust because of how the nature of how they are. They're just so boomer bust. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure. We'll use 38k on these, but... They're just so boomer bust when it comes to when it comes to pulling anything good because you're so limited on the amount of cards. I still think the better value is the gold premiums just because it gives you so many chances to in turn pull something, but that's just my opinion. I, I can make the argument either way, but in my opinion, I think it's it's still the gold premiums is the top value. The elite the Legends Fantasy is alright because it gives you guaranteed elites and you get to choose, but those are kind of boomer bucks too. You can get some terrible elites. Might do a pack opening of these get a gold players, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Patrick Chung, not a bad pull. You're just looking for like high 79s and not high 79s. You're just looking for 79s or elites. Or core rookies. The, the the valuable core rookies are obviously worth it. I feel as though once I start opening these, you have to open until you get an elite, because then it just feels like you wasted coins. Random Bolden. Uh, Aaron Lynch. Carl Joseph. Roger. Roger Lewis got himself a gold. Alright, just... Give me an elite so I can walk away. Uh, Travis Benjamin. See, this is what I was talking about. These are those dry spells when you're opening these gold, get a golds where you don't get an elite. It's just tragic. Poor rookie. This is a tragic get a gold player. Oh my gosh, the tragedy continues. Marquez Valdez Scantling. The, tra the tragedy continues. Mark Walton Jr. Alright, if it gets to like 2.6 2 mil, I'm out. Kevin Minter. Getting trash after trash.
Jakeem Grant. This is just terrible. Benson Mayoa. Alright, this game is just killing me. We got 10 more of these before I'm just out. J. Ron Elliott. Imagine I pulled, like, the Sherman out of this. Get a goal. I bet someone will. I bet someone will pull the Sherm. After seeing that Ed Reed that's, like, 2 million now because there's none up, kinda... I'm gonna probably buy the Sherman. Just to see if he goes up in price. If he gets down to like 600k, the lowest, the, the chance, the opportunity cost is not that much. Alright, Brett Urban. This is just, there's no elite in sight. Clayton Gathers. We have hit the coldest spell of 2018. Started with our very mediocre game changer packs and it's moved over to our very terrible get a gold player packs. I mean, I can't even get an 80 overall elite. Like, slide me an 80 overall. See, it's always just so terrible, like, now I'm under where I wanted to stop, and it just feels so terrible stopping without getting the Elite. Oh, there it is. Alright, Mark Ingram, we got an 83. Took way too many coins to get that 83, but, but we got him. So, uh, that's gonna do it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Um, not sure what we'll be doing. We'll be getting back to, uh, plan. Been doing the solo battles, I need to get those done for the day. Um... I know there's probably, I probably need to be winning by more than this, but I've been just doing the, the the lazy strat to get my dubs. I don't care about being, like, number one in the world or anything like that. If I finish, like, ultimate here and got 50k coins, eight trophies, two Hail Marys, one midfield, one red zone, one touchdown, I'd be happy with that. Um, I don't need, like, this up here. I don't need, like, those. Like, 50k is fine. I'm not probably going to get top 100, so ultimate or elite. You need 250,000 score to get ultimate. Am I on pace for that? I think I'm on pace for ultimate. Yeah, I'm not on pace for ultimate. I've beaten... Or no, wait. Have I beat six solos? I might not be on pace for ultimate. Um... Can I... I can't see how many games I've played. I think I played six, right? One, or yeah, I played six. I don't really know if I'm on pace for it, but I need to clean those up today. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. We've wasted enough of y'all's time trying to get that elite, uh, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.